What's going on you guys? Welcome to another episode of Business Every Day. My name is Jonathan and on today's episode we are making Haha, <laughs> we are making L brackets, we are making jigs, we are making stopper blocks, we are making things to improve our X-Carve machine. Over the past month or so, something that I've noticed is my inefficiency at my workstation. And so I've noticed that uh, I'm having to zero my machine every single time. I'm having to uh, really spend a lot of effort and time making sure that my machine is set up, that it's angled right, that everything is square, um, more than I would like to. And so what we're going to be doing today is actually cutting out a bunch of jigs, a bunch of stopper blocks, L brackets, things that will hopefully make our life a bit easier. That's the hope. We're going to see how it goes. First thing I need to decide is what material am I going to be making these things out of? I got half inch, three quarter, I got hickory, I got plywood, I got MDF. Ooh, what in the world am we going to make it out of? Um, I think some three quarter would be good. Well, what I got here is some really nice uh, three quarter inch plywood. And we are ten inches by six inches. I pulled some designs right off of the easel project page and let's see what the dimensions are on the computer. So according to this, uh, the large clamp is seven inches by seven and a half, that's like seven and a half by seven and a half. So uh, I can't cut my large bracket out of this material, but I can cut the small one. So the small one is only four and a half by four and a half. So let me go ahead and cut out the small one. And then I also want to cut out this large stop block, which is 12 inches by two and a half or by two inches. Or I guess it's one and a half if, now that I'm looking at. It. But um, yeah, I want to have this stop block and then as well as a couple of these L brackets. Look what I found, a piece of scrap. See, this is why I don't get rid of things is because I got scrap. So seven and a half here. Okay. By seven and a half. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. But I think we can do it. Uh let's figure out where these clamps are gonna go. What I like to do is go ahead and mark out the the how big my material or my object is gonna be, which is seven and a half by seven and a half. And that way I know exactly where I can and cannot clamp things because uh, I have run into trouble before where I put clamps where things need to go and then we just have trouble, trouble, trouble. So let's not do that. Well, I gotta say, that's a beefy bracket. I mean, that's my hand. And that, yeah. We're gonna definitely have to make some smaller ones. Woo, that was cool. Uh, but as we make smaller ones, <laughs> we can use the bracket to make more. Yay! Oh, I just think that is tremendously awesome. Um, yeah, we're going to start using... And the holes line up. Do they? Oh, they're just... They do, and then they don't. Or, let's see. Oh, I might have to make them just a slightly, slightly bit bigger. Just... Ever so slightly too too small. Here, I'll find the right drill bit. Back to the drawing board. Okay. 
Take three. Yes. Yes. No! Yes! The math was a little wrong. Ah! Well, that's a bummer. So we're gonna have to remake this one. Or is it salvageable? Let's see. Okay, take 12. And I think I've decided what I'm gonna do is, yes, see, look at that. Much better, much better, is what I will probably do is cut out the first hole and then, hmm, oh, I haven't decided, may I try to cut it in software? Maybe not. Okay, well, I think it's cool, uh, but I'm definitely going to rebuild this because, yeah, but something really cool is, ha, square, yeah, that's freaking awesome, so let's do this more and uh, see what we come up with. So I just did the math, and I built this smaller one, uh, and we're going to see if I did it correctly. <laughs> um, I sure hope so. Oh, I made the hole just a little bigger, and it is still pretty tight. Alright, so I had the machine cut out this center hole, but I cut out these other ones, and of course those are perfect, because I did those ones. So let's put one in there. Uh, let's do a blue, and another blue, and I still haven't figured out how to organize all my clips yet, but we're working on it. So, boom. Is it gonna, no, yes, no, yes. Oh, it's just so slightly off. My math was so close, <laughs> so close. All right, let's round it out just a little bit. All right. New holes, and just to confirm, everything is square. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's try it again this time. All right, number one. Oh, number two. Ah, number three. All right, let's see if it's square, though. Oh, no. It's not square. Oh, wait, is it square? Hmm. Let's see. Is the center hole that's off? No. This outlier hole, that's what's off. Let's see if my center hole is square. Well, there you have it. That's square, and as you can see, my hole is just ever so slightly off. Just so close. Hmm. But it is square. I gotta do some more math. But, let me, uh, let me work on this one, see if this math was right. Ooh, that's spiffy! Alright, the jig is all set up, 
let's see if we can get a couple of repetitive cuts going. So what you just saw there is, yes, the stop block will work, but it does need to be at the same height level as your actual stock material. Otherwise, um, when it comes to XYZ centering the bit, uh, you're gonna have a little trouble. So I'm go actually gonna flip this around and see if that works better. All right, the cut is done. Let's see if we can swap in another piece of stock and get the exact same cut without dismantling everything. So there comes the stock. In goes the next one. Bumper, bumper. Clamp down the one corner. Tighten. Check, check, okay. Well, there you have it. Two duplicate pieces. Uh, it actually worked. I'm super stoked, so jigs work and i'm just overly <laughs> excited that they do work so hey let's uh let's keep making some more